Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. A news conference was held on September 24th at NASA's Johnson Space Center with the next crew launching to the International Space Station, including NASA astronaut Tim Kopra. ESA astronaut Timothy Peak, cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko of the Russian Federal Space Agency, and COPRA will launch to the station aboard a Soyuz spacecraft on December 15th from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. They're currently scheduled to return to Earth in May 2016. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has sent back the most detailed color view yet of the Pluto hemisphere. The new extended view, captured during the spacecraft's July 14th flyby of Pluto, shows extremely rich and varied colors, all of which are clues about the elemental makeup of the dwarf planet's surface. September 21st marked the one-year anniversary of the arrival at Mars of NASA's MAVEN spacecraft, the first probe dedicated to studying what has happened to the Martian atmosphere and how that history has influenced the evolution of the planet's surface and potential habitability. Scientific data gathered by MAVEN in the past year, including the first look at energetic solar particles in the atmosphere and the first ultraviolet images of oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon coronas surrounding Mars, support our current understanding that the upper atmosphere is only tenuously bound by the red planet's weak gravity. For the first time in its seven years of flights, NASA's Operation Icebridge is conducting survey missions of polar ice in Antarctica and the Arctic during the same time frame. The Antarctic campaign, which kicked off on September 22nd, will continue until November 2nd, with Arctic flights scheduled to last from September 23rd until October 23rd. The goal of the Icebridge mission is to collect data on changing polar land and sea ice and maintain continuity of measurements between IceSat satellite missions. NASA developed software called Traffic Aware Strategic Air Crew Requests, or TAZAR, designed to help airlines save time, fuel, and reduce carbon emissions, soon will be tested on board Virgin America and Alaska Airlines following a recently signed agreement with Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. The technology assists pilots to determine the most efficient flight paths while planes are en route to their destinations. The West Virginia Mountaineers robotics team that won $100,000 in June at NASA's Sample Return Robot Challenge was recognized by West Virginia Senators Joe Manchin and Shelley Moore Capito at a September 21st event on Capitol Hill. NASA Associate Administrator for Space Technology Steve Jerzyk was also there. The Centennial Challenges program encourages innovations in autonomous navigation and robotics technologies. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.